kids, are you tired of being super bored in the summer? Are trips to the library just too dangerous? Cut! Okay, this is for a high school. So could you try talking to an older audience? No, no, no. I know exactly what you mean. Give me just a second. Uh, I'm skeptical, but uh, we'll try it out. Summer reading video, take two. Hello, young adults. Cut! It's too far. Take 27. Are you tired of breaking your leg every time you go to the library? Cut! 53. Every day, thousands of books sit on library shelves alone. Cut! Take 236. Do you want to be entered to win a brand new etch sketch Cut! Bro, what year do you think it is? That's just a piece of paper. Where did we even find this guy? Okay, so what he's trying to say is that the school year is almost over, which means it's time for summer reading. We have great books that you can choose from, so you'll definitely be able to find one that interests you and will keep your skills sharp over the summer. Let's take a look at the book choices we have this year. The Compound by S.A. Bodine. Eli and his family have lived in the underground compound for six years. The world they knew is gone, and they've become accustomed to their new life. Accustomed, but not happy. For Eli, no amount of luxury can stifle the dull routine of living in the same place with only his two sisters, his father, and mother. Doing the same thing day after day after day. As problems with their carefully planned existence threaten to destroy their sanctuary and their sanity. Eli can't help but wonder if he'd rather take his chances outside. Eli's father built the compound to keep them safe, but are they safe or sorry? When the wealthy Darcy family moves in across the street, Zuri wants nothing to do with their two teenage sons, even as her older sister Janae starts to fall for the charming Ainsley. She especially can't stand the judgmental and arrogant Darius. Yet as Zuri and Darius are forced to find common ground, their initial dislike shifts into an unexpected understanding. But with four wild sisters pulling her in different directions, cute boy Warren begging for her attention, and college applications hovering on the horizon, Zuri fights to find her place in Bushwick's changing landscape, or lose it all. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. A young girl in Harlem discovers slam poetry as a way to understand her mother's religion and her own relationship to the world. The debut novel of real and slam poet Elizabeth Acevedo, Zamara Batista feels unheard and unable to hide her Harlem neighborhood. Ever since her body grew into curves, she learned to let her fists and her fierceness do the talking. But Zamara has plenty she wants to say. She pours all her frustration and passion onto the pages of her leather notebook reciting the words to herself like prayers, especially after she catches feelings for a boy in her bio class named Amund, who her family can never know about. With Mama's determination to force her daughter to obey the laws of the church, Zamara understands that her thoughts are best kept to herself. So when she is invited to join her school's slam poetry club, she doesn't, she doesn't know how she could ever attend without her Mama finding out, much less speak words, her words out loud. But still, she can't stop thinking about performing her poems, because in the face of a world that may not want to hear her, Zamara refuses to be silent. Unwind is a dystopian thriller by Neil Schusterman that follows three teens on the run from the government that believes that unwinding, or body harvesting, is an alternate solution to abortions and unwanted teens. Unwinding is also a choice for extreme religious families who want to tithe one of their teens. Same But Different by Holly Robinson Pete. Being a teen is hard enough. When you have autism or when your sibling is struggling with the condition, life can be a topsy-turvy ride. What happens when you come face to face with dating, parties, sports, body changes, school, and kids who just don't get you. Where do you turn when your sibling with autism is the butt of jokes, the victim of misunderstood social cues, and the one everyone thinks is weird? Through alternating narratives, 
based on their own lives, Ryan, Elizabeth P, and her twin brother, RJ, who has autism, bravely and honestly reveal what it means to be a teen living with a disorder. With Inside and Humor, Same But Different explores the many aspects of teen autism while daring to address issues and feelings nobody talks about. This powerfully rendered Tommy book is the only one of its kind. It paints an important story of hopes for teens and families living with autism and lets us see that everybody's unique rhythm is worth dancing to. Yeah, I think it's time for you to go, buddy. Well, I'm not leaving. Not until the first color gets 0% interest for the first 36 months. Yeah, okay, right. Security, can we get security in here, please? <laughs>